The 26th of December, 2004, was a day that the world will never forget, and definitely a day that I will never for forget, and, and the people in this conference will never forget. It was a day of epic losses. It was a day when it was an epic failure for science. Although myself and others had forecast that there would be a large earthquake and a tsunami that would someday hit the Sumatran coast, um, this news did not reach the people who were actually in harm's way. When the earthquake occurred on that morning, most people had no idea that it was associated with a tsunami or even what a tsunami is. And, and that's an epic failure by science to communicate what we know and understand is a, is a legitimate risk to those who are in harm's way. Because I was associated with, with that event in that I had already published a paper in 2002 about, about the risk um, it was especially difficult for me because I realized that if I would have taken my own forecast seriously, I would have gone to Sumatra, I would have gone from village to village to village, and I would have ex explained a very important truth, that when you feel the ground shake for more than 20 seconds, that means that it's likely going to be a tsunamogenic earthquake. And so if you're by the coast, you have to immediately evacuate. You can't wait around, you can't do anything. You have to evacuate because you might only have 15 to 20 minutes to get to safe ground, which could be 15 to 20 meters high. If the people in Sumatra would have known that simple truth, thousands, tens of thousands of lives would have been saved. And so we cannot allow this to happen again. We have to educate those who are on the coastal areas adjacent to a subduction zone, the Sunda Trench, the Banda Trench, the trenches of Eastern Indonesia. We need to make sure that everybody knows the 20-20-20 principle, which is 20 seconds of ground shaking means it's likely going to be a tsunami. Even if the ground shaking is not intense, even if it's hardly, you can hardly feel it, if it lasts for more than 20 seconds, it, there's likely a tsunami coming. And you have very limited time to act. And you have to act fast. You can't wait around to, to see if there's a warning on the TV or if there's a siren. You have to take your own safety into your own hands. And then you have to go as far inland and as high as you can get. And that will save thousands of lives. It'll make sure that, that the Banda Aceh tsunami disaster is never repeated again.